Can the United States really withdraw from the Mideast? Or for that matter, can any major power really withdraw? Can they ignore that area of the world? Today marks the day that U.S. troops are withdrawing from Iraq. President Obama is keeping one of his campaign promises in removing our troops from Iraq itself. But can we ignore that area? Can the nations, the power nations of the world, really withdraw from good, that area? That's a good question. Uh, America has spent more than 4,500 lives, uh, $800 billion, and more than eight years of involvement in Iraq. When we went in, in there, it was to overthrow Saddam Hussein, who was deemed a, a threat to the security of the world. And that mission was accomplished. Uh, we've imposed a democratic form of government that uh, everyone is hoping will hold against the other forces that are at uh, play in the Middle East. But we are going to keep, Steve, 4,000 troops in Kuwait as a ready force to protect uh, Iraqi and American interests in that region. But, but your you question is important. Can, yeah. it, can America or any, any major power So really, really we're, not, we're not really withdrawing, in a sense, because we're right. in the region. Right. The other nations of the world certainly are focused on that, whether, whether their interests are in Iraq, whether they're in Iran. Look at Syria. Look at the nations that have, that have recently uh, been overturned. Their governments have been overturned. They're, they're scattered throughout the Mideast. Uh, it would be a fantasy for anyone to, to think that p problems that are generated out of the Middle East are going to just go away, and that by ignoring it, they will, they will go away. That is not going to happen. And, uh, and that brings up a, a... And that's why we focus on that region as much as we do. Yeah, why because, do we talk about it? Yeah, because uh, Bible prophecy it shows that the Middle East is a major region from which the end-time prophecies leading to Christ's return are going to uh, be involved. And so uh, we're going to be drawn back into that area. Uh, not only uh, the United States, but any major power is going to be withdrawn drawn back into that. Right. Power. So when you look to the Bible, look to Bible prophecy, Daniel 11, when you look at that section of Scripture, verse 40 specifically talks about the king of the north and the king of the south. There are armies and there are, there's going to be a major focus in that area. So so the world's attention will be drawn to the Middle Mid East and we won't be able to ignore it. It's because of the focus of Bible prophecy that we pay much as much attention as we do on Beyond Today and in the Good News magazine to this subject. You're going to see more programs coming up in a few weeks on Jerusalem and the Middle East and also a, a focused attention on uh, Islam in the Good News magazine coming out in January. So we're going to be focused there. Uh, you should be keep your eyes there because no country really can withdraw uh, ultimately from the forces and the influence uh, that that region is going to have over the entire world. That's BT Daily. We'll see you tomorrow.